The recent study by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report issued what it calls a code red for humanity due to increasingly extreme heat waves and record temperatures. More than 80% of Greenland, an area roughly three times the size of Texas, is covered by an ice sheet up to two miles thick. Satellite imagery confirms the ice sheet is thinning due to glaciers speeding up and discharging more ice than they accumulate through snowfall, a process known as dynamic thinning. Peterman's Accelerating Flow The Peterman Glacier in northwest Greenland is an outlet glacier, a tongue of ice that extends from an ice cap. Outlet glaciers empty into an open area or ocean and typically occupy an irregular depression or fjord. The Peterman drains 7% of Greenland's ice sheet and its flow rate is increasing. The upper catchment is a portion of ice cap 60 miles wide and up to 1. 8 miles thick. Its base is grounded on bedrock, much of which has been depressed below sea level by its immense weight. It slowly flows toward the edge of the ice cap. The fjord is a water-filled depression in the bedrock into which the glacier flows. It is 18 miles wide at the ice cap and 9 miles as it nears the sea. Known as the grounding line, the point at which the glacier's ice begins to float is about 50 miles up the fjord from its snout.1. Inland ice, with the glacier flowing faster downstream and thinning, Inland ice discharge is dramatically increased, accelerating the Greenland ice sheet's rate of depletion.2. Sidewall drag, friction on fjord walls helps to stabilize the floating ice shelf and is transmitted upstream, where it affects the rate of flow of inland ice into the glacier. Reduced sidewall drag leads to an accelerated flow of inland ice, which promotes dynamic thinning.3. Melting, warmer air and ocean water temperatures constantly erode the floating ice shelf as it moves down the fjord. Toward its end, the ice is less than 100 feet thick in places. Its stability will weaken if warmer water hastens underwater melting. Scientists are especially concerned about in 6. 8 mile long. 880-yard wide crack in the floating ice shelf that's moving closer to the glacier front. If it cracks off and becomes a giant iceberg, sidewall drag will decrease for the remaining ice shelf and inland ice flow and dynamic thinning will gather pace. Alpine glaciers in retreat glaciers in mountain regions around the globe began to decline at the end of the Little Ice Age, 1550 to 1850 and their retreat has gathered pace since 1980. While a minor consideration in sea level rise calculations, alpine glacier retreat affects the amount of freshwater available for human consumption, agriculture and for natural ecosystems. The main types of alpine glaciers are shown below. Piedmont glaciers from where valley glaciers spill out onto flatland at the base of the mountain.